Hey guys. Okay, so spring is finally coming, which means I can finally start making videos again. Winter lasts forever here in upstate New York, which means I had nothing to film for the longest time. <sighs> so if you guys were looking forward to the few subscribers that I have, if you guys were looking forward to another video over the winter, I'm sorry, I had nothing to film. But now I finally have something to film because I'm starting my seedlings for the year. So, uh, I'm actually going to show you guys um, me starting my cucumber seeds. I've got Market More 76 and uh, Straight 8 cucumbers. Both are heirlooms. I hope you can see those packets. And I'm going to kind of combine um, a normal method, which is, you know, just starting them in pots, versus the winter sowing I've done before. But I am going to use winter sowing, sort of. I'm going to use cold frames instead of the containers, because the containers didn't really work for me that well. I don't know, I had iffy results. It seems to work much better when I use cold frames, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the cold frames. Same basic concept, just a different method, just a different container home for the seedling people, plants. All right, so, um, what I'm using to start my seeds is these little peat pot kind of biodegradable pot things. Um, I don't normally use these because I don't like using peat because it's not a very sustainable resource. I prefer using coco coir, but they don't make pots like this out of coco coir yet. At least not none that I've seen up here. As soon as they start making pots out of coco coir, like, like these, these biodegradable pots, I would totally use them. So I'm just going to be using these. Um, I... Of course, you can just use pots like this, like these little reusable plastic pots. This one's a little torn up, isn't it? But eh, doesn't matter. You can still use it. I'm going to use it. Or you can use like littler ones like this. No, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to end up using all three varieties because I don't have enough of these. All right. Um, and I'm also just going to be using a bag of pre-made seed starting mix because I don't have the materials to make my own like I normally would, so I just went out and bought this bag. It was like, I don't know, five bucks. Five bucks for this big old bag. How much is in here? Um, 12 dry quarts. So 12 quarts dry, which means it's going to be a lot more once I add in the water, which I've got over here for in a bucket. All right, so to start, we're just gonna take this lovely little thing let me check and make sure that you can see that in frame. Well, can you? Okay, good. All right. So, we're just going to add in a little bit of the seed starting mix for now. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more than a little bit. I don't know. I got a lot of seedlings to start this year. I'm starting nearly 300. All right, we're going to pour in water. I'm using warm water. Lots of water. And we're going to get in there with our hands and mix it all up. You want this stuff to be really nice and moist when you're doing anything like winter sowing or starting things in cold frames out in the winter. You really want it to be nice and damp. So that might be a little on the wet side, but that's all right. It'll, it'll drain out in the, um, in the cold frames. So that's perfectly all right. Okay, you know, my hand is a mess and I forgot to grab a towel. That sounds about right. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay. And here is a tray that I'm going to put them in in the cold frame. I'm starting 20 up. Um, 10 of each, 10 of each kind of cucumber. Uh, I'm only going to use 10 plants total, but I'm starting twice as many to account for unexpected death of seedlings, you know. You always want to do that. You always want to start two to three times as much as you have room to plant. I've labeled both of the, I've labeled two sticks here, the types, straight eight, mark it more. I doubt you guys can read that because my handwriting is atrocious. Can you see both of those? Oh, there they are. One was way out of frame. I'm so sorry. I hope everything else was in frame. All right. 
And so we're gonna grab our bucket of dirt here and we're just gonna go ahead and fill each of these little thingies. And seed starting mix. Exciting, no? Alright, I'm actually going to fill these up and then I will come back. Alright, and there we have it. I filled them all up and they are ready for the seed. My hand is gross, but oh well, I'm a gardener. If you're gonna grow food, people, you gotta be prepared for dirt. If you don't like dirt, you're not going to enjoy being a, a gardener. <laughs> So right now I am about to just start planting them. I got the, um, the plant tags in there. Um, it's got the name, the date that I'm planting them written on the back. And I'm just going to take a Sharpie, just kind of swirl it into each one. You know, make a little, um, for cucumbers, I don't know, like half an inch or so, quarter inch. Between a half an inch and a quarter inch divot in each one. Nothing too deep. General rule of thumb is no deeper than the length of the seed. Bonus tip. Also, when you're packing your containers for the seed, don't pack it. You want it fairly loose. So just, you know, just kind of put it in, lightly tamp it down. Just make sure they're full but not packed. You want the uh, baby plants to be able to get their roots through. Okay, so we are going to start with the straight eight. I'm just going to pour a bunch out onto my hand here. Seeds. Okay. Little plant babies. Okay, so I'm going to put in about three seeds per hole. Oops, you guys missed the hole. Two to three. It's okay if you get four. It's not really going to hurt anything. You might just have to do a little bit more uh, thinning. Which is a, another reason why I'm using the cold frame method over the winter sowing method to allow me easier access to the seedlings as they grow to take care of problems that may or may not arise. I poured out too many seeds. Okay, so we're just gonna put them all in just like that. All right, I'm just gonna put the extra ones over here. And now we're just going to lightly cover every seed. I'm gonna need more dirt for you. Boop, okay, there you go. Nice little homes, get them all ready and set. And the good thing about pre-dampening your soil like I did pre-wetting it, is that you don't have to water after you've put the seeds in, especially if you got the soil wet enough. All right, so that's that, and that was it. They're planted, straight eight cucumbers, started. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the market mowers and then I'm going to take you guys on outside to show you um, how I'm going to winter sow this, this year's crop. All right, I will see you in a, well for you guys, I'll see you in a second. All right. All right, okay, and we are outside now in the garden. Both of the cucumbers are in here instead of the tray. This is, um, that tray I'm actually going to fill with all the other seedlings. Um, but this is just a plastic bin, uh, a clear plastic bin with a lid that I have turned upside down. I've put the seedlings in there, sealed it, and I'm just gonna leave it out like that in the sunlight. Um, so what I'm hoping is, what I'm hoping will happen is the same thing that the winter sowing does. The sunlight is going to warm it up, and I can actually see it is warming it up. There's a, there's condensation starting to build on the inside. You guys won't be able to see it yet. The, the beads of water are still very tiny, but I've only been out here for about maybe five minutes. So that's actually very promising. It means the humidity in there is rising, which is what you want. The sunlight and the humidity is going to keep it really nice and warm in there for those seedlings to germinate as soon as it gets warm enough 
out here for them to do so, and they are just going to take off. The tray I'm going to fill up with the rest of the seedlings, and I'm going to put it... If you see that little black... Alright, well, the camera died, but we are back. Okay, as I was saying, as I was saying before the camera died, that black thing is a cold frame. Um, it's... It's a fairly good size, it's about one, one and a half feet by two feet, I believe, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and it's about ten inches deep. Um, it's just made out of a couple of two by tens and an old window frame that were all painted black. Um, I would open it up and show you guys the inside, but, there, but the snow and ice on top of it are really thick, and I don't want to risk breaking it open and breaking the glass because I don't have very many replacement panels for the glass, and those things break a little too often as it is. <laughs> I've gone through a depressing number of them, which is why I only have two cold frames left. There's another one over there, but you can't see it at all, because it's utterly buried. But um, things are going to warm up later this week, uh, all the way up into the 40s, so I'm hoping I'll have access to those, and I will be filling those with other seedlings. <laughs> More or less the same principle as this. Oh, and hopefully, I don't know if you can see that, all those little little um, droplets of condensation that are building up. That's a good sign. It means it's warming up quite nicely in there, and I am happy with that. Well, let me go. Let me know what you guys think of um, using clear plastic bins like this and just turning them upside down and using them as greenhouses. Um, maybe some of you will use this idea in to start your own seedlings, to clear up space inside the house. And, yeah. Well, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you... I'll see you guys next video. Bye.